This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Amy Tibbin back with me in the studio. Thank you very much for coming all the way from Kempville. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You are the Outreach, co outreach Coordinator for the Beth Donovan Hospice, and we've got an annual event coming up. Yeah, so excited to um, be hosting the Hike for Hospice again this year. Um, it's the last Sunday in May and we're going to be gathering at the Ferguson Forest Centre. Um, and it's a fun day out for friends and family um, and people in our community and they can bring their pooches along for a lovely walk through the trails at the Ferguson Forest Centre. Yeah. It's extremely pet friendly. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's very pet friendly. In fact, we even have swag bags donated by our, our local um, pet value and uh, there's 25 little doggy bags with treats and toys for your, your doggy um, for the first 25 dogs that register for the event. Now this is your 14th year. How did it go through yeah. COVID? Great. Um, you know, this was one of those events that we were able to continue on through COVID. Mm -hmm. um, we asked people to register online and hike virtually so they could hike from their home or their local trail. Um, and we're still offering that option. So if folks want to hike you know, closer to home, they can do that on, and on their own time and still raise funds for hospice. Um, but we are actually thrilled to be able to gather together again. Um, and for those who are close by and want to hike as a group, they can join us on May 28th at the Ferguson Forest Centre. How yeah. do people register for that? Yeah, so if you go to our website at bethdonovanhospice.ca, there's a button there. Um, and also on our posters, there's a QR code that you can scan that will um, help you register your team or you can register as an individual. Um, there's also a button just for donating. Excellent, excellent. Now you've been here quite often here on FYI and part of your job is the outreach coordinator too. You are actually reaching out. <laughs> yes, yeah. And you're doing a lot of things in, in uh, outlying areas like Merrickville and uh, Winchester, that type of things. How is that going? Uh, it's going really well mm -hmm. and um, it's it's amazing because you know our hospice serves such a large area mm -hmm. um, and so we really do need to work with the community organizations in each of those little individual communities because we can't do this without their support and we need the support of the communities as well we need volunteers in those communities and so we are trying to work um, in in each of the different locations um, and for example we have a um, we're bringing our day hospice program to the movies in Winchester on May 11th and um, so we're inviting the public to come as well um, we're going to be showing grumpy old men and then in the afternoon we're going to have some live music and Dundas County Hospice will actually be there with the table as well there are another local hospice that we share a boundary with um, and uh, so people from that community can come and learn about both hospices how they can help and also what services we provide what we can do to help them or their loved one yeah and, and also just have a fun time and, and so often we talk about what's your catchment area but I love the words you just said you're sharing boundaries yes mm. yeah absolutely um, and and we're all sort of rural hospice providers yeah. right and mm -hmm. so we need to work together and support each other um, and so technically, I guess Winchester would be in the Dundas County Hospice area, but we have clients that use the Winchester Hospital, right? And so, you know, it's kind of like we have to, we have to work together and we have to support each other. So we're thrilled to have them uh, joining us that day so that people in the area can learn about them and also learn about us. And now you mentioned the day hospice. That's just one program mm -hmm. that you have at, at the hospice. There are yeah. so many, and we could be here for an hour and a half, you talking about everything yeah. that our Beth Donovan Hospice does. Yeah. But maybe you can just touch on a few things that people have, that do. Yeah, so we have equipment lending. That's probably mm -hmm. one of our bigger programs. Um, and it's really important because it's quite expensive to buy the walkers, the commodes, the bed rails, the, the shower bench. Um, and so instead of going out and buying those items, you can come to us. We loan them to you for free. Um, some people like to make a donation. That's always appreciated, but it's not necessary. Um, and then to, you know, that, that equipment gets returned to us and we can loan it to somebody else so that we're keeping stuff out of the landfills as well, right? Right, yeah. right, right. And I mean, you know, when we talk about uh, partnerships and everything too, you're helping out the House of Lazarus right now. They just went through pretty much a, a crisis recently. Yeah, 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 they came off a very successful fundraising event. Um, and then that weekend, um, unfortunately, their food bank in South Mountain burnt. Um, and so uh, we are thrilled to be accepting donations for them. 
um, and we will get them to them. Um, uh, so if anybody has any food bank items that they'd like to donate and you're in the Kempville area, you can certainly drop them off at our building on French Settlement Road um, and we will make sure that those donations get to the House of Lazarus. That's another great organization in our community that is just so important that we support them and they in turn have you know supported some of our clients as well. So Absolutely and, yeah. and it, I, it seems right now too I'm hearing from a lot of food banks really struggling this time of year. It's not typically the time of year people think of donating to a food bank but if you have it in you to give absolutely this is the time they really need you. Yeah absolutely yeah there does seem to be a higher need there and so then for them to to struggle through that um, and lose their building there um, but they are accepting donations and, and we're helping them as best we can too. Excellent yeah. excellent now yeah. where are you physically your building? Yeah so we're just um, uh, east of Kempville so on French Settlement Road 1107 French Settlement Road um, and uh, people are welcome to drop by we're open between 8 30 and 4 every um, every weekday Monday through Friday and people are welcome to drop by and uh, if you have any questions about volunteering um, or if you want to make a donation we're there excellent yeah. excellent now let, let's go let's go back to your hike for hospice again yeah. Sunday May 28th yes. you can walk run or hike yes and there's no pressure no no <laughs> no, no pressure <laughs> but you can do a 1k a 3k or a 5k and I'm sure yeah. if you just want to walk around the par parking lot and make a donation, they'd yeah. love to see you. Yeah, even if you just want to come and gather in community, yeah. right? So um, we gather at 10 a.m. and then you can head off on your hike if you like, but some people actually just hang out with their pooches and visit. They bring a lawn chair and we have some tables and seating there. And, um, you know, we uh, have a, a barbecue afterwards. So some folks just come out and they make a donation and, uh, and, and gather and socialize and, and celebrate everything that our amazing community has to offer. Yeah. So often, too, I see some of the teams that, that are made up of are people who have benefited from the hospice. Yeah. They've got stories to tell. Yeah. They're lovely people to meet. Yeah, yes, and they want to tell their stories yes. and they want to talk about why hospice is important mm -hmm. to them. Oftentimes, you know, the folks who, who put together a fundraising team or who hike um, with us on that day, they're hiking in honor of a loved one, right? There's meaning behind it for them. Um, but it's also really just important to many different people in our community. They want those services there. Absolutely. They don't want to have to drive into Ottawa for those services. It's nice if they can get it close to home. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. They knew how important it was to them when they needed it, and they're there to help too. So Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, and we're still seeking out sponsors for that event as well. So um, we need local organizations, businesses, um, and uh, folks to just donate prizes because we, we give out prizes for our top fundraising teams and individuals um, but also you know like the doggy swag bags yes. thank you so much to pet value that's amazing but um, you know we we accept um, you know giveaways for our, our human participants as well yes yes for sure for sure yeah. yes yeah, yeah. the pets wouldn't get there without them <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah. Uh, well I thank you very much once again how do people register how do people get more information about the hike for hospice yeah so if people can uh, give us a call at 613-258-9611 if they want to chat about how to sponsor and um, they can also email um, email us or uh, head on over to our website at bethdonovanhospice.ca excellent excellent and you've got a Facebook page yes and, and check out our Facebook page for all of the upcoming information and events um, you know big events like taste for hospice which just yes. happened and how did that go I was wonderful what yeah. a beautiful event that was our triumphant return we sort of took a, a three-year break from yes. that because of the pandemic and um, it was an amazing event. Uh, we sold out. Quickly. Um, very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, we had over 20 vendors. Um, and, and thank you so much to our vendors. You know, they donate their, their wine, their, their beers, their, their food items. Um, and uh, we can't do it without them. And they brought the best that they had to offer. It was delicious. And it was all amazing. And it was just such a a wonderful event where local businesses and local people all gathered together in support of the hospice and uh, it just felt so lovely and wonderful to be in person. Once again they know how important our hospice is yeah, to really our communities do. for yeah. sure for yeah. sure. Well thank you very much Amy Tibbon our outreach coordinator for our Beth Donovan Hospice. Thanks for joining us I know you'll be back again there's always lots going on at the hospice. Absolutely thanks so much.